Hello and welcome to Classmates, a horror RPG maker game developed by Yamzarp, available on Itch.io. And supposedly, it's about escaping a Yandere's house. I guess we'll see what happens. I guess a little content warning as well. This is tagged as horror, so there may be some disturbing elements. Viewer discretion is advised. Uh, let's begin. And know this developer, I think I played a previous game from them actually. It was called Giselle. So, that's another game that I played. Uh, but yeah, I mean, here's the warning, I guess. You know, it has stalking, kidnapping, blood, and murder. Hmm. And dark comedy. My favorite. Proceed. No, I, I, I say no, and then I stop playing. No, I guess. Alright. Lilia. Um... You're going to Ian Davis's house. Why? Um, he wants to borrow my notes since he missed so many classes. You barely know the guy. Oh, he asked. I couldn't refuse. Plus, he's been missing class to take care of his sister. Doesn't hurt to help. Can we come with? I don't want you going alone this late. Relax, it's still 7 p.m. I'll give him the notes and leave. I don't know, June. That guy is... I'm not sure how to explain it. You guys worry too much, you know? It's not as if I am the main character of a horror RPG maker game. Uh, I won't go in his house. He's a classmate, right? I'll come with you. There's no need for that. I'm just gonna go by myself. What's the worst that can happen? <laughs> if you're really worried, I'll send you my location. Hmm. Can't you go in the morning? He asked me to come now, and I already agreed. Just make sure to call us if anything happens. Yeah. You got it. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Alright, I have to take the blue line. Which one is the bus stop again? Objective. Mission mission goal. Take the bus to your classmate's house. Okay, check items. Item menu. Mm -hmm. Do not save mid-dialogue. As <laughs> it will cause the game to crash. Okay. Okay, developer. I guess I won't. I try. I'll try not to do that. Um, how do I? Oh, okay. When you press X, is a bit of a delay. Okay. Oh, here you go. I was looking for the save menu. I press X. Oh, it's strange. Yeah, when I press X, sometimes it doesn't work for some reason. Anyway, controls. Uh, yeah. I mean, typical. RPG maker stuff. Uh, long press the spacebar to skip the dialogue. Okay, that might be useful. Wallet. June Miller, age 23, major chem. Uh, sex, yes, no, uh, no. <laughs> sex female. Uh, student at WTC. Whatever that means. I mean, I ask Okai University, I guess. Uh, no? No notes. Alright, well. Let me talk to random people on the street. Like an RPG maker game, you know, protagonist? Jane just says dot dot dot. She's talking, shouldn't interrupt. No, I'm the main character. You should pay attention to me. A vending machine. Stranger? Shadow creature? No, doesn't. I don't need a haircut right now. I mean, very anime, by the way, to highlight that, like, half of your hairstyle. I don't know, what's that remind me? It's probably some anime character. I don't remember which one. This is not the bus stop. Where were we? I guess we were at the cafe. It's the arcade. Can, can I go in the arcade? Can I just play games instead? Can I play video games in the video game? Oh, I've seen this guy before. Uh, can I help you? That's right, you're the second year psychology major. You're set, right? Rosa's friend? You know Rosa? Yeah, from high school. It's a long story. Anyway, I gotta run. See you later. I just came here just, <laughs> just to say hi, I guess. Video games. The, the, the arcade culture, I feel like. <laughs> Grocer bathroom. Is that the women's or the men's? I've heard the women's bathroom is a lot of Anyway. Um... I was gonna say, oh yeah, the RK culture. Not not as prevalent, you know. In North America, at least. 
in Japan is there's way way more variety and way more uh, interesting, you know, games available. But I just never, you know, or I, I was gonna say I never took off. It did take off actually, you know, in the very beginning, but it just fell off rather. But uh, I need to get off at the next stop. It's kind of strange that he asked me to come over at night. You know, this is this, this, this stranger just tells you. Well, it's not a complete stranger, I guess, but you know, this person that you don't really know just tells you to go over to his house at uh, like 7 p.m. You know, it makes more sense to meet up in the morning. I have a slightly strange feeling. You know, it's called self preservation, but you decide to ignore it. All right, time to get off. Hello? He's sleeping. Hello, bus driver, anything to say? No, okay, I will leave. Hmm. <laughs> in the middle of the road like this? Is there houses like this? I don't know, I'm not sure. Just in the middle of the main road? I feel like houses would be on off the side road. You know? I don't know. That's what I feel like. Anyway. It's just a giant road. <laughs> this is the place. It's in the middle of nowhere, huh? Okay, here's Ian. Um, ah, you made it. Ian Davis. Totally not gonna kill you. Totally not a serial killer. Hello, Ian. I'm sorry for making you come all the way. All this way. Not at all. How's your sister? Oh, yeah. She's fine. Much better. Totally not lying about that. I'm glad. Well, I got you the notes. You can return them any time. Alright, the note. Okay, I forgot about that. But I guess the notes are... In our inventory was like study notes. Thank you. That's very kind of you. Even though we're not that close, you agree to help me. Don't mention it. If you need any more help, feel free to ask. Alright. Goodbye. Good luck. Wait. Yes? Please, come in. You came all the way here. Let me get you something to drink. Oh no, it's quite alright. I insist. I want to thank you properly. But I do understand if you feel uncomfortable. Daga. Kotoaru. Well, I promised Lydia I'd leave after handing him the notes. I appreciate the offer, but I'm in a bit of a hurry. I see. Well, another time then. Yep. What's that look for? I end up going home. I wonder what would have happened if I agreed to go inside. Eh, probably nothing. Ending one. Study buddy. That's it. We're just friends. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Alright, well obviously that's the, you know not engage of the story ending let's go back in here all right you know let's let's not like go to like some random person's house and just you know go back to our friends uh you're starting to second guess your decisions you know yeah actually we're not stupid yeah castle plans are you sure are you sure you don't want to go to your classmate's house and get murdered yes yes what am i doing lilia and quinn are right better meet in public place Ask him to come meet us here. That's much better. Yeah. Alright. I feel like I avoided something really huge. Oh well. Okay, there you go. Ending zero. Cancel plans. So it's very similar to the other ending that I got. Where uh, you basically refused to go into his house. But, I mean, basically the same thing. <laughs> you did the smart thing and not go to, like, you know, a person you don't know. You know? Into their home. And get drugged. Alright, so, you know, this, um, guy that we barely know is inviting us in the middle of the night into his home for some tea, that's all. That's totally not drugged. Don't worry about it. Let's go in. <laughs> What's the worst that can happen? Well, it wouldn't hurt to stay a bit, would it? I'm sure, but only for a little while. Oh, I'm so glad you agreed. Please, come in.
welcome inside. <laughs> nice house. You and your sister live alone, right? Dad lives with us. Uh, Dad lives with us. Yeah, I can't speak. Why is that tongue twister to me? Dad lives with us too. Although he's traveling right now. I see. Follow me. No, I refuse. I save the game again. I go here. I go in here instead. No, I leave. I go this way. I don't listen to you. I go the other way. Okay. Never mind. Please, wait here while I make us some tea. Or would you prefer coffee? Tea is fine. I see. Give me a moment. Television. The portal to another reality. Some would call the Twilight Zone or something. Hmm. Huh? Okay, so we can wait for our demise. Uh, or we can go help him. Hmm. I don't know, actually. What, what if we actually did go, go up to him and check if he's drugging our tea? <laughs> you know? Most likely. Uh, where's the kitchen? Is this the kitchen? Ian, do you need any help? Didn't I tell you to wait? Sorry, I thought you could use some help. Oh no, I've got it. Please wait for me in the living room. Alright. You know, I, I, he's got to get the the rope ready. Now, uh, he's sure taking his time. Here you go. Thank you. Drink up. I hope it's to your liking. I'm sure I'll love it. Daga. Kotoaru. You suddenly feel strange. I prefer to wait a bit for the tea to cool down. I see. Give me a minute. I'll go answer the phone. Please, take your time. This is when I swap the cups. Just like in that movie, right? Kind of need to use that bathroom. I shouldn't run around, but this is an emergency. I gotta go pee. For some reason, you want to try the tea. Save the game. Where's the bathroom? That's locked. I leave. I can't leave. Kitchen? Ian is still talking on the phone in the kitchen. Sure, let's listen in. Why not? I already told you. My father hasn't been home in a while. How the hell am I supposed to know that? He's sick. She's taking time off school. Ian's got private conversation. And go upstairs. Lock. No response. I, I don't think this is the bathroom. No response. Hmm. Oh. Hello? Don't just open on its own, right? I should find the bathroom and leave. Wait. Oh, is this a sister? I thought the sister was dead or something. <laughs> you must be Ian's sister, right? She nods quietly. Nice to meet you, I'm... Shh. He will hear you. Uh, who? Who will hear me? My brother. Is that a problem? Miss, you need to leave this house. This girl's freaking me out. Check his room. See for yourself. What? The girl hands you a small black key. What was that? I got room key. Hmm. Let's uh, save the game real quick. Right. Oh, I'm trying to open the menu. It's a little sticky for some reason. Like sometimes you, you can't actually... Uh, you know, sometimes you can't actually open the menu when you press the button. Alright, Ian's room probably. Sure, let's go inside, why not? I need to use the key. Alright, I have to actually use the item in your inventory. The key worked. What? 
Uh. Hmm. This is... These are all me. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, it's not it's just the funny faces. It's not it's just like, um... Like, I don't know what you call it, but like, you know. I just reminds me of, uh, just like... Uh, chibi, uh, expressions, you know, where you're like... They exaggerate faces that look like... Make them look like emoticons. Uh... I need to get out of here. Too late. Hmm. Ah, oh, yes. Classic, uh, chloroform, is it? I always hear that doesn't work, though, you know? Hmm. Now, how did you get in here? Hmm. So annoying. Hmm. Hmm. I let my guard down. Would you like to save before you die? Before he cuts you up into little pieces, I guess. And eats you and puts you in the soup. Hmm. Uh. Hello, frog and time shade, I guess? No, I'm not sure what you mean. But yo, yo mama. I don't know. You see, when you say yo mama, aren't you supposed to set up like a joke or something first? It's like these nuts, you know? <laughs> anyway. And uh, why a boy voice? What do you mean? Oh, do you mean, oh, is it like, do you mean like it's because I have a Stolfo avatar? You think I'm supposed to be like an anime girl or whatever? I don't know. It's just, it's just what I have as an avatar. And I don't know. I think it's normal, <laughs> you know? The, the just. Just because you have avatars like a like supposedly look, that looks like an anime girl, even though Stoffel is technically a dude, but anyway, um, does it mean that you're literally an anime girl? Uh. Oh my head! I'm trying to remember what happened. Where? Am I tied up? That's right. I, Ian, he, his room. What the hell? You feel your blood pressure drop. Your face is pale. My phone, I, I need to call... It's not here. Of course. Of course not. Uh, hello, uh, Unknown Dark as well, by the way. June, you're awake. You! Untie me! You disgusting stalker! I don't wanna. June! What is wrong with you? Why are you doing this? Stop yelling. Look, I promise I'll explain everything. Let me go. Then you can explain. Hell no. Where's my stuff? Where's my phone? I hid them. <laughs> you know, June, I really like you. That's why I'm gonna keep you in my basement. Ew, untie me. Stop yelling. I can't believe this. <laughs> Stop smiling. What's with the knife, huh? You gonna kill me? Should I? Ah, uh, it just made it so easy. I mean, come on. You come into a guy's house at night, you know, break into his bedroom. You let your guard down. This is your own doing, June. You know, I'm just gonna gaslight and victim blame you. Blah, blah, blah. Sure, I should have been more careful, but you're the one committing a crime here. You stalker. I understand why you're angry. I really do. But believe me, I do like you. Which is why I have to do this. My feelings for you are something you would never understand. Let me go! <laughs> Your tantrums are kind of cute. Oh my god, you! <laughs> okay. Stop whining. Should I tape your mouth shut, too? Good girl. Hmm? What the hell? I'll be right back, June. Die! I really should tape your mouth shut. How does he climb with a knife? How does he climb the ladder with a knife? I guess, I don't know. Uh, calm down, June. You can cry later. Gotta get out of here first. Did Ian, uh, Ian? Ian drop something. Can't seem to reach it. Ian only used tape to tie my hands. Maybe if I wear it down. Press the arrow keys to free your hands from the tape. <laughs> Just like... 
rapidly shake around for a little bit. It came off. Thank God. My arms hurt. Find a way out of this place. Alright. Can I save the game first? I, I don't have my phone. I can't save. What the heck? How could this possibly happen? Uh, who's that in my... I'm not... Uh, these kids these days who use PFP. I don't know what PFP means. I, I mean, I know what it means, but I always forget, like, what it actually means. You know, but back in my day, it's called avatars. You know? We call them avatars. Not like PFP. <laughs> anyway. Uh, who's in my PFP? Uh, it's Astolfo. You don't know? It's, a, it's, it's, it's Astolfo. From, uh, I guess technically Fate Apocrypha. But hang me honest, I never actually watched Fate Apocrypha. Uh, I really just mostly know it from uh, Fate Go. You know? Basically, I'm basically a fake fan. Anyway. Uh, what is this? Pain room key. A key? He dropped the key? It's kind of a dumbass too, huh? Right. But yeah, I mean, PFP means... It's not profile picture. It means... Um, picture for proof. You know? That's what it means. I remember I, I looked it up. Picture for proof. That's what it means. But like, it's weird because it's not... Because that's not, that's not how you see avatars, you know? Because, uh... I, I don't know. I, I feel like there's been a change in internet culture. But, like, a lot, a lot of these days, people put, like, their real face as their, like, picture. And I think that's weird. Why would you do that? That's how you. That's how you get. Uh, you know. That's how you get doxxed, and then a stalker, you know, drugs you and drags you in, into his basement and then ties you up. You know, like this. Um, so yeah, in, in 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 back in my day, you would just put like, for example, like an anime character that you like. You know, you just put an avatar. It's just a picture. It doesn't represent you. It's just you know, it's just an avatar. I don't know, anyway, that's how I see it anyway. A box. A strange smell is coming out of it. I can say. Hmm. Is that what the parents, you know, are? What? It's, it's that. The box is filled with what seems to be dismembered human heads. The smell is so strong, you decide to close the box again. Hmm. Well, there's multiple heads, though. I was thinking where the parents are, you know? But, like... I was thinking like Ian killed his parents or something. Maybe, maybe not. I'm not sure actually. Well, what was this inside this box? Is it more heads? Oh, just more bunch of random items. Something stands out to you. This is the pencil I lost last week. Why is it here? He well, wanted to sniff it, I guess. I don't know. It's a fucking weirdo. And so I used the pencil as a weapon. I stab his eyeballs. It seems to be the way out of here. You will probably be back soon. I need to hurry. I need to find my phone. I because I need a save in particular. Uh, random papers. They all have random scribbles on them. June, 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 June. You know, he just likes the month June. He he really likes the sixth month of the year. That's all. Between the papers, one stands out to you. The paper is completely empty. Hmm. Oh. Well, lock. Uh, I do have a key. I keep pressing it. There's one, one complaint I do have is that the, for some reason, opening the menu is a little awkward. When you press the button, sometimes it's not, it's not responsive, basically. Hmm. Well, that key didn't work. It's a padlock, supposedly. Uh, I guess that's it. Nothing in here that I can do right at this moment. Hmm. Again, I wish I could save. Where's my phone? <laughs> I want to save. I'm a save-aholic. I need to save. Yeah, that key doesn't work. You hear yelling from outside. Open the damn door, Ares. What the hell did you break? Leave. I said open the door. <laughs> ah! Stop screaming, I'm gonna kill you, brat. Leave, leave! So annoying. He and his sister, they're fighting. Don't break anything else, and stop screaming. He's coming back, crap. 
hide. You got to hide. Oh, okay. Where should I hide? What if I just stand here and be like, I defend myself with the pencil. I parry his knife. No, game over. Okay, never mind. You just lose. He just apparently decapitates you right on the spot. Alright, uh, hi, 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 uh, here? Under the bed? I don't know. Ah, what a pain. That's a very anime thing, by the way. Very anime phrase. You see, you hear it all the time in, in the English dubs, but in Japanese, I, you're usually saying, um, I think, mendokse, usually. Like, what a pain. What a pain in the ass or something. <laughs> mendokse. Mendokse. June. I'm back. Huh? Where the hell did she go? I need to get out of here. Miss, come here, quick. I need to leave. You locked the front door. Come, hide in here. Sure, we'll trust the sister, I guess. Seriously? He's looking for me. Hey, are you okay? I heard the fight. I'm okay. Thanks for the warning earlier. I couldn't leave though. I see. Aries. Petrova? Petro Petrova? Petrova. They have different last names. She looks awfully young. Do you know where he could have hidden my stuff? We need to call the police, and I want to call my friends. In his room, probably. I don't have a phone. There's a landline in the kitchen, though. I see. Her brother seems unstable. I don't want to endanger this kid. Alright, you stay here, and I'll sneak into the kitchen to call the cops. He's gonna be outside, you know. Waiting. What about the window? Our windows don't open all the way. Huh. Father, he... Your dad. She stopped responding. A Aries? That's how you pronounce it, right? Aries? Aries, the, um, the god of war, <laughs> I think. I think it was it, right? Yeah, anyway. Please leave. Oh, okay, I'll leave. I'll get us out of here, Aries. He's not there. Since you do not have your phone anymore, you must speak to Ares in order to save. Uh, just changing up the mechanics. Can I save though? Can I save like immediately, please? <laughs> uh, Ares, it's me, June. Need something? I need to use you as a save point. That's all I need you for, that's all. Nothing else. Nothing matters to me. I leave. I simply leave. Okay, I can't do that. There's a piece of paper on the table. Obtain note. What does the note say? A guide to the purple pill. Okay. One capsule will cause mild dizziness. Two capsules will cause blurry vision. Three capsules will cause fainting for around 90 minutes. Can be ingested through mouth, nose, and eyes. Side effects include nausea, vomiting, and response depends on the person. Mix the residue with hot water to get rid of the bitter taste and for full effect. Residue cannot be traced in the human body. Okay, so I, that sounds like the drug that he was going to use to uh, make us go to sleep, I guess. Alright, let's see. Um, I, To be honest, I just want to immediately save again. Because <laughs> I have a new item, so I just want to save The bathroom. You know, we actually never went to the bathroom. Locked. Kitchen. Well, this is the kitchen. You hear Ian's voice. He's in here. You can't use the landline right now. <laughs> hmm. Use the key? So the key Ian dropped was for this room. What's in here? Locked drawer. 
Uh, there's a small jar filled with capsules. What is this? Medicine? Drugs? Might be useful. I chugged the whole thing. No. <laughs> That's probably how you die. Uh, so many books before stand out to you in particular. Huh. Okay, it's a bunch of books. Uh, also, hello, uh, Dark VR, by the way. Blue book. Flip to page? Ah, oh, okay. There's like a particular page you have to go through. A small sharpener. A sharpener? Could be useful. Pencil. Okay, <laughs> I use the sharpener on the pencil. Ah, uh, sharpen the pencil. Now I have a sharp pencil. I don't know how that helps us, but sure. Alright, so there's a bunch of books. And then... Hmm, let's see, how do I, how do, I do this? Uh, can I see chat? You crack? I'm not sure what you mean by that. Like, the, the, the window closes or something? You just, you just gotta reload, I guess? You're running Windows 64. I don't know that... That, that's, that doesn't exist? <laughs> yeah, as far as I know. The latest Windows is Windows 11. How do you have Windows 64? Do you come from the future? Uh, your whole PC crashed. That's bad. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Do you need technical support? <laughs> you know, I, I'm not... I don't know. I don't know if I can help with that. No, you're from the past. I mean, how do you? If you're from the past, how are you hearing this right now? Because this is the present. No, um, I don't know. Anyway, what am I doing? Oh yeah. Um. Well, here's this note that we got. Purple pill. One, two, three. So like maybe it's one, two, three. Like purple. One, two, three. Possibly. Hold on, let me save. Let's save the game. Uh, here. Uh, what's the game? Um, I mean, I, I mean, we just started, I guess. Um, well, I say it's just started. It's been about mm, half an hour or so. It's uh, Classmates, I guess. The RPG Maker Horror Game. I mean, just to summarize so far, uh, Stalker tries to... Uh, you know, capture you, and you're trying to escape, basically. That's, I guess, the summary. Um, let's see. So, I wanted to try... How many books? Let's try, uh... Purple? One, two, three? I don't know. I'm assuming that's the answer? No? God damn, it's not. In that case, hmm, I'm not sure what the, you know, what the puzzle is. I don't know if it's this or is it something else. One capsule, two capsules, three capsules. So that's the only numbers I can see. If it's not that, then something else then. Hmm. I gotta maybe search somewhere else. Anything in these boxes? <laughs> uh, on Steam? Uh, no, it's on Itch.io. You can see the links in the description under the live stream, I'm assuming. I always put, I always put the links to the games, by the way. Under the video, in the description, usually. Unless you're on phone. I don't know if your phone it looks differently, but it's always in the description. You know, I, I feel like a lot of people just never look at the description. In fact, I think YouTube in particular notices that. And then they don't emphasize the description at all. But there's a lot of important inf information in links, usually. <laughs> at least in my descriptions, anyway. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes people don't put the source of the game, you know, in the description. They have to be told that. Um, see, I remember there was a empty paper though. Like, apparently, the empty page, the empty paper stands out to you. So, what if I use a pencil on it? I'm just gonna draw a little doodle. No, uh, you lightly shade over the empty paper. Some indented writing appears on the paper. Oh, huh, okay. Well, let me write that down. It's probably the answer to the puzzle. So red 139. Red 139. Does this mean anything? Oh, it does mean something. It means we need to go here, look at the red book, and type in 139. I'm not really typing in. I guess technically we're looking at the page. Something fell out of the book. A key. Obtain small key. Well, I'm assuming this small key opened this drawer in particular. What is this? I obtained calendar. Okay, you, get, you solve puzzles to get more puzzles. 
Oh, you hear footsteps. Ian. Hi! Uh, not again. Uh... Hide between the boxes? Sure. Damn, that asshole won't stop calling. June. She's still here, huh? June! He didn't bother looking here. I guess whatever was keeping him busy is over. I need to be careful now. From this point on, Ian will switch locations every 60 seconds. He's <laughs> just is adding new mechanics over and over. Uh, if you wish to enter a location he is in, you must wait for him to leave. Be careful and don't get caught. Make sure to hide. Okay. Hold on, let me... Wait, hold on, let me just save right now. Okay. What's this? Did Ian uh, drop this too? This is strange. Is he really that dumb? <laughs> is he that stupid? Is he, is he an idiot? <laughs> you know, is, isn't there a meme like that? It's like... Why does, why does he just simply capture her? Is he an idiot? Or something? You know, it's like, like, a, like, a, like a major plot point. And there's a meme where you just call the character stupid. Um, anyway, um... Red X, Green X. I don't know what that means. Well, can we just go here then, in that case? Just use the phone. A faucet. Okay, some mugs. A spray bottle. Uh, okay, hurry up, June. <laughs> the, the, the timer is going. Uh, locked. Uh, oven. Sto a stove. Where's the phone? Actually, I don't see a phone. I got a pot, though. Okay, random pot. Landline. Yes, I can call the police now. This is... This can't be right. The landline's not working. The landline doesn't work. There's a small number written on it. Ten. Okay, hold on. Uh-oh. Oh, June. I found you. Oh, game over. Is instant game over, though? I guess because uh, the timer was still going when you're, when you're looking at the phone. And also, don't, don't backseat too much, I guess. You know, I don't know. I... I don't come up. I don't. I don't. That that problem doesn't really happen to me a lot. I guess I'm not a big streamer, but you know, you don't have to tell me to do every little thing. It, it's okay. It's okay. It's just you know, um, it can be a little bit annoying if someone's like over your shoulder, do like do do this, do this, do this, do this. You know, just imagine in in, you know, in in my shoes, if someone just tells you to do something over and over again, isn't it? Like, I can. You know, I'm not. I don't know, I like to- I also like to solve things on my own as well, you know. Anyway, let's just- yeah, let's hide for now. Also, hello, uh, Bland K, by the way. Yeah, I don't know, I mean, it's backseating, right? I mean, that's the thing that, uh, is a thing for a lot of streamers, I guess. I feel like some streamers are a little bit harsh. I understand why, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of like when you're watching, um, like, sports or whatever, right? It's like, it, even though I don't watch sports, but, you know, it's kind of like when you're watching sports and, like, someone... It's like yelling at the TV, you know? Even though you can't really do anything, you're just yelling at the TV. People just do that, right? People just blur out like, oh, just do this or whatever. And it's like, I don't know. The difference is that I can see it, you know? It, it, you're not like yelling at a TV, you're yelling at a person. So it's kind of, it's kind of, uh, it comes across as like you're demanding something, you know? Like you're commanding me to do something, which, um, you know, can be a little bit rude sometimes. You can suggest things, I guess. You can ask nicely. Uh, if I'm like really stuck, you know, you can give me a hint, but you know, it, it depends. Anyway, it's all contextual. All right, let me, uh, actually, I need to hide again. The, the timing thing, you know, makes me not want to ramble for too long. Okay, so I, okay, I got the clue again, so I came back here, got the pot, got the whatever. Uh, I'll come back here. Um, let's see, so what do I do? I gotta find like another thing though, I feel like. Hmm. Hmm, padlock. I can hide under the bed, I guess. Find a key. I have a lot of stuff, actually. A uh, calendar. It's a calendar from a year ago. A couple of days are highlighted. February 2nd, business trip. November 12th, Anya's birthday. December 20th, wedding day. Uh, hold on. <laughs> can I, like, hide and look at my stuff at the same time, actually? Oh, never mind. You can't do that. You crashed the game, you do that. Okay, never mind. Oh, uh, television has a small number in the corner. It is a five, a red five. Hold on, let me hide. Can I hide? Hi, hide, hide. Hide, okay. 
But I'm just gonna write that down. Five red. Okay. Let's see. So I'm gonna like keep hiding for a little bit. And okay. Alright, so we got two numbers. We have a green ten and a red five. According to the note that we saw before, which is not this one actually, oops. It's just notes on how to drug someone, I guess. According to this, yeah. It's this plus this. So it's just 5 plus 10 or whatever. Which is 15. Now here's the thing. Where do I put that though? That's what I'm wondering. We've seen multiple... Oh, you can see the inside room. Okay, interesting. You can't go in there right now. Um, I see multiple like places to put a code, but... There you go. I mean, this is... Yeah, this, this requires two digits. So it must be this one. It open. Obtain matches. Matches, huh? Can I use this to light something? Alright, so we got matches. We simply <laughs> use the matches and dump it in the oven. And burn the whole place down, right? We'll, we'll just take him with us. No, um... Oh, I don't know where to go. Let me hold on. The hiding mechanic is... Well, I don't know. I guess it's it, it does mix things up a little bit. So that's good, but the same time it is a little bit annoying because i i want to like stop and like do commentary but i can't i have to like keep moving um i also like think about you know what i'm doing um hot okay let me look at the things that we got, got we got a spray bottle apparently it can't be used with a pot they also can't be used hmm not sure how we use these items can i use it on the water okay can i spray them like a cat you know i can fill the pot of water though Okay, that's the thing we do. I got filled pot. Okay. And we, I don't know. Put it in the oven. I, I, can we boil the water? I don't think that's how it works, actually. I don't think you're supposed to put it in the oven. Are you? Maybe. Actually, you did put, I did put it in the oven. Hmm. Oh, no, you put it on the stove, rather. Okay. I mean, that's what the stove are. Okay. Uh, matches. Okay. Oh, so it's like an old style stove, actually. I don't know. I'm, I'm used to, uh, like the type of stove that you just turn on, right? It has the coils. Mm -hmm -hmm. Stop hiding. Ah, uh, oh, not again. Accid I accidentally crashed the game again. I got distracted and pressed the X button. Damn it, try again, open the game again. All right, let's do this again. The game crashed when I accidentally opened the menu again. I'm going to fill the pot with water. I don't know why... Oh, maybe I have an idea, actually, why I'm doing this. But I fill the pot with water. I put it in the stove. I, I, I Initially, I, th I thought I put it in the oven, but I put it on the stove, actually. Uh, I light it up with matches to light the stove. Which, again, is kind of like an old-style stove, you know? I'm not... I've never heard of that, actually, to be honest. I'm, I'm, I'm used to... I, is it called electric stoves? I'm not sure if it's called electric stoves or not. But, you know, it's the one the, that heats up little coils. You know, I'm used to that. Um, and, uh... I guess I'll put pills inside, right? Now mix the residue in the pot. Alright, how many capsules should I use? Nine. <laughs> Maximum. Maximum drugs. What? Oh, come, come on. Oh, okay. Uh... I put three. Done. Alright. And then, uh... I didn't mean to do that, but... I, I mean, yeah, this is the clue of how many capsule you use i gotta hide <laughs> right now because of, of the i thing i i do wish a timer does pause during dialogue because again i i read everything a lot i guess if, if you're not like me like recording for a video where you're not reading everything aloud you read in your head but i do wish it pauses when you're like you know reading something anyway uh maybe use a spray bottle yeah that's what i was thinking we really are spraying him like a cat, you know? Bad kitty. Bad stalker. Don't drug people. In your home. Hey, June. Was this little game of hide-and-seek fun? It's over now. Owarida. Oh, be quiet. Yeah. Hey <laughs> oh, no. He's going like, hey I guess. Because uh, you're spraying him. With all your power, you hold the spray bottle right up to his face. Uh, take that! Uh.
Huh. My head. Black. He collapsed. Is that how it works, by the way? Like you, can you like put drugs in like a spray bottle and spray on people? I don't know. That's how it works. He really fainted. The spray bottle ran out. <laughs> we used the entire thing, by the way. No time to waste. Leave this place. Not moving. I loot him. I loot him for gold. I got a room key. And a photo card. Hmm. He didn't have the front door key on him? Hmm, okay. Well, the front door might still be locked, right? Yeah, we can't leave immediately. But we did get a key and a photo? Okay. It's a picture of a woman holding a child. There's a date written in the back of the photo. June 17th. Hmm. June 17th. Hold on, hold on. Let me that down. June 17th. Hold on. Interesting. wonder if that's important. Loot bodies for XP? Oh, usually you don't loot it for XP. Usually you kill them <laughs> for XP. No, um... Anyway, uh, June 17th, so that's... Let's see. The calendar, though. 32nd, November 12th, December 20th. I wonder if these are important. Hmm. Oh no, let me write this down too. I never actually used this yet, so. Alright. So I don't know if that's important, but I wrote it down. I'd like to save, please. Save the game. Alright. Is there anything else that is fine here? Drawers. Okay, there's this. Yeah, we never opened that yet. It's not that. Wait, did I open that yet? I don't remember. Apparently it's locked still. Uh... I mean, the key that we got was... Again, I keep... The menu is... buttons weird. The key that we got was his room key, right? So that's all it was. And we can already go in here anyway. So I don't know if it matters. The only thing that we need to do is, I guess, figure out how to open this padlock. I guess? Maybe? Unless there's anything else. Um... This is locked? No, we haven't opened this yet. Yeah, okay. A wardrobe filled with suits. I assume this is the father's room, maybe? This would be a family portrait. Okay, that's everybody. Mom, dad. Son, daughter. That's Ian and his sister, Ares. That man looks like Ian, but the woman looks more like Ares. You flip the photo frame. It's signed, Anya. Anya. Right. Hmm. I'm assuming Anya is the mother. And I, I, maybe I'm misremembering it, but are they the decapitated heads in the boxes? Maybe? I, I don't remember now. I, I have to, I, I'd have to look at it again to remember exactly. But I wonder if the hair color matches, you know? A king-size bed. Uh, bro covered his wall in pictures. Yeah, he, he's, uh, he, apparently he's the stalker, so he's been stalking this character. <laughs> So he's been taking pictures of her. Uh, a lock safe. Okay. Interesting. Uh, the bathroom. Okay, interesting. So, you can open this. Let's possibly open a drawer as well. Hold on, let me save. In the game. Alright, so let's see here. Well, there's this. So, June 17th. What about, like, I, I guess it's just the date. So, June 17th. It open. There's nothing but a knife inside a drawer. Ah yes, take knife. The most classic of weapons in the RPG Mega Horror game. I use knife. Where is the fucking knife? Come oh come on! <laughs> it's self-defense, don't worry about- No, okay, come on. Alright, so I guess the only thing I have left to do really is to open this thing, I guess. Um... We learned that the name Anya was behind that photo frame, and we did look at the calendar. The calendar that said November 12th is Anya's birthday. Um, this is poor password security, by the way. Never use your like your birth date or whatever <laughs> or your like password. Um, November 12th. Where is her? Hmm. Obtain Joro King. Obtain newspaper. Oh, newspaper. 
a newspaper. It's a newspaper of an old date. One article piqued your interest. The tragic suicide of Anya Petrova. At age 32, actress and singer Anya Petrova was found dead in her room. It says here it was days before her wedding. Before her wedding, okay. Right, on the calendar it said December 12th was the wedding, so... Hmm, interesting. So they never got... Like, they never got married, I guess? I'm assuming the, uh, the brother and sister are step-siblings, you know? Uh, let's see. So we got that. Uh, we got the newspaper. Uh, no, we got a drawer key. Right, right, right. We got a drawer key. Um, uh, what software do I use? Uh, OBS. OBS Studio. Basically. Don't, don't, uh, I always say this, but don't get mixed up with Streamlabs OBS. Streamlabs OBS is like a modified version of OBS. Just use normal OBS Studio, I guess. Um, but yeah. It's a little, I mean, it's not the hardest thing in the world, but it's a little technical. You should figure out, like, if your computer can even, like, run OBS. So you gotta make sure you have, like, a good computer, a good CPU, and everything. And, you know, blah, blah, blah. You just, you just gotta go to the website and check and stuff. It's like they have a wizard, you know? When you open the OBS Studio, there's, like, a little, uh, streaming wizard that you can use. But, like, it's not that accurate, you know? It doesn't have the settings that, you know, you, I would prefer anyway. Um, anyway. Uh, my stuff. Obtain phone. Obtain wallet. I need to call someone. No signal. Damn it. There's probably better signal outside. Now I just need the front door key. Okay, can I save though? <laughs> can I? I can finally save without the help of Ares. I don't need her anymore. Oh, are you sure you want to leave? <laughs> what do you mean by that game? <laughs> what do you mean by that? Alright, oh yeah, I don't know why, I don't know what the game tells you though, are you sure you want to leave? But I guess I'm gonna leave. Did you find your things, miss? I did, but I don't know where he hid the front door key. You can't find it, because I asked my dear sister to hold on to it for me. Hey, you're supposed to be knocked out for like 90 minutes. <laughs> I guess it's not as effective on you. Ian? You really thought you had a chance of beating me in my own game. I was only messing around with you. I only pretended to be unconscious. For the most part, that spray bottle came out of nowhere. Oh. What? If Ares has the key, then... She's my sister, remember? She listens to me. I'm sorry. God damn it. What do I do? Think fast. I'm sorry, miss. I'm sorry. Don't feel bad, Ares. Now your little secret is safe with Big Brother. What secret? What's going on? Don't worry, it's none of your business. Now, tell me, how will you get out of this? I will stab him in uh, the chest. Boop. Die. Huh? What? Thought I wouldn't do it? <laughs> I'm crazy! I'll fucking st I'll shank you! Mate? Ian? Ian lays before you, lifeless. Brother? We're talking about kissing, you know? We, we killed a guy, you know? We're not making out. You just killed Ian Davis. Ian. Something feels so terribly wrong. Your skin feels funny. The blood smells really bad. You should stop standing like an idiot and go wash it off or something. No. This is so wrong. And so the tragic tale of Ian Davis comes to an end with his pathetic death. Ending four. Self-defense, you know, that's what we're gonna that's what we're gonna say in the court, you know? It was self-defense. He freaking like kidnapped us and everything. So don't worry about it. We're justified. God damn it. What do I do? Think fast. Okay, so this time I don't have the knife on me. Damn it. 
I have no way of properly defending myself. If only I got that knife. <laughs> Just give up, June. It'll be easier that way. Is this it? Ian, please. Uh, that look. I like your expression, June. You won't get away of this. Honestly, I was going to play around more before doing this, but... You got me all excited. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A lot of slashing? No more. Quiet. June. You thought you were so smart. It was really cute. Of course, it did annoy me a bit, but it's okay, June. I forgive you. Because you see, people like you, kind, naive, I like them so much. I'm just a nice guy, you see. I just want to stab you a whole bunch. No, I, it makes me sick. Ending two. Sick. Great. And then you get, you know, and that's the, you get stabbed <laughs> ending. I have a knife, you know. Back off. Stab me then. You don't think I can do it? Go ahead. Do it. This is too much. I never did anything to you. So why? Are you doing this to me? You say you like me, but you seem to find joy in my misery. Oh, the misery. <laughs> what did I ever do to deserve this? That's why I told you. You'll never understand how I feel. But why? Because. You're a good person, June. What are you... I... Ian... Shh. I like you, June. You know that, right? You feel your vision go dark. You can't quite describe what you're feeling right now. Did you truly deserve such a fate? You start remembering Lilia and Quinn's words to you. Everything is dark. The war went mute. Hey. How are you liking to uh, today's dinner, June? Oh, too salty, is it? That's what the others said, too. I made sure to use less salt, though. June, you're so pretty today. You're my favorite one of them all. Hmm. There you go, there's a lot of other heads. That's what I was wondering, yeah, like, how many heads did he decapitate, <laughs> you know? <laughs> a lot of heads. He has, you know, a lot of, uh, like a, quite a big collection. But sadly, I found someone else I really like. She's really sweet and kind, just like you. And today... I'll invite her over. Okay. And, and the and the cycle continues. Alright, so ending three. Uh, ending three is, uh, yeah. So basically, you go through the game all over again the same way. Except at the very beginning, you basically just choose... Uh, the more naive choices like um you know you choose to drink the tea or whatever you wait for him you know you don't listen on in the phone call basically so that's how you get that ending and that does imply yeah he really is a serial killer <laughs> you know he really is a freaking serial killer you know and uh i mean slight spoilers but like uh he really reminds me of um kira uh kira Yosh yoshikage from jojo <laughs> you know it's in, like it's heads instead of hands basically I mean, he is a freaking psycho he's irredeemable anyway anyway all right okay so this time let's stab him in the arm uh, yeah i need to buy some time june ow out of my way my oh. arm aries give me the key but, but don't do it don't listen to him let's get out of here Aries. Oh, I'm really gonna kill you now. 
The door won't open. Give me the key. Open the door. Spam the Z key. Okay. <laughs> I had to spam faster. <laughs> you don't remember much from that night. Everything seems so distant. In all honesty, you're not sure how you managed to keep it together. You don't know what happened to Ian. Or Ares. You don't know anything about them. Not that it matters, you'll never see them again. You did well. I'm proud of you, June. Uh, oh, okay. Thanks, doctor. There's a doctor saying that, I guess. Uh, don't thank me. It's the truth. You've been through something awful. You still have so much to process. Hmm. I'll see you next week. Same time. June. Hey, you doing okay? You guys came to pick me up again? Of course, we're worried. For a while now, you've been hearing his voice in your head. It truly feels suffocating. You sleep and find yourself right back at that house. His voice, it's so annoying. So loud. You, you know, he doesn't, don't know how to, he doesn't know how to have a uh, inside voice, I guess. No. <sighs> Let's get some coffee. Hmm? Coffee. Coffee. You like some coffee right now, and definitely not tea. <laughs> Sounds good. Although sometimes... Theirs is much louder. Okay. It's kind of like a heartwarming thing at the end, where it's like... And friendship, you know, is the power of friendship at the end, I guess. Uh, I feel like that's kind of, kind of phoned in. Because what were they doing, you know, when we were being kidnapped? Anyway, no, um, <laughs> alright. Well, I guess that's kind of like, I'm assuming that's kind of like the true ending, you know. That's kind of like, you know, that's kind of the full story of what happened. Um, kind of lands, kind of lands on an ambiguous note, though, involving, um... Aries, you know, Aries and uh, I'm assuming Ian. Ian, I'm, I'm assuming, you know, ran away <laughs> because, uh, you know, he's committing a crime and all that. But what happened to Aries, you know? Aries was supposed to come with us, but uh, she also disappeared, which, uh, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with her. I'm not sure. Um, I guess maybe we'll see because technically I don't know I'm gonna, how I'm gonna edit this, but technically I haven't actually gotten all the endings yet, so maybe it's revealing the other endings, possibly. Uh, but that was yeah, that was the true ending. However, I'm not sure. I don't know. Once I get all the endings, maybe I'll, I'll, s I'll discuss more. Maybe. All right, let's uh, check out the bonus room. I actually forgot to go in here when I was streaming this, so this is actually a local recording that I'm gonna. You know, put in the video. Uh, but I guess, yeah, just a little extra little thing. I guess, uh, let's see. I guess interact with the characters, maybe? Name, June Miller, 23. Likes tea, dislikes trains. <laughs> she does not like trains. I can help you revise lesson. That's what she says. She's the main character and everything. Here's the sister. Aries, Petrova. Likes shrimp. What does she dislike? We'll never know. Here's the, you know, Yandere, you know, serial killer, uh, Ian. And we don't know, I guess, his preferences. And, you know, side characters, Lilia, Misfortune. <laughs> okay, interesting last name. Please don't go. And Quinn Adler. Uh, likes magazines, dislikes our candy. Alright, if you say so. Uh, who are these characters, by the way? Rosa? Oh. Okay, well. They're just like an avatar, I guess, just telling you if you want to leave. Hmm. Okay. I mean, they were. I think, well, I remember this guy. He was in the arcade. Who's Rosa again? I actually forgot. Hmm. Maybe he's one of the characters that we saw very briefly, I guess. I guess they're just references, you know, to the developers of the characters, possibly. What's this note here? Huh. I assume the developer. Uh, hello, Yum's here. Thank you so much for playing, classmates. I'd like to make a longer, more fleshed out game, but I'm taking one step at a time. 
I want to introduce my little world slowly, so enjoy these small games and get to know the characters. Hopefully I'll be able to make more in the future, so stay tuned. Okay, so I guess that's it. You know, not much to it. Just a little extra information about the characters, I guess. Still a mystery though, you know, Ian and uh, Ares. They're still a bit, you know, like we still know who they are exactly other than him just, you know, decapitating people's heads. But other than that, you know, I don't know, we don't know much, we don't know much about them. Anyway. So there you go. That's all the endings uh, for this game, as far as I know. Uh, so yeah. You know, um, I'm just trying to think about the story and everything. Uh, so I, I did get the true ending and everything, but it doesn't really explain, you know, everything about uh, Ian and Ares, especially their relationship. I'm not sure what their relationship is like. I mean, obviously Ian is just a psychopath, it seems like. You know, going through all the other endings, it just seemed like he just... He's just a serial killer, you know, there's nothing like sympathetic about him at all, really. He's just sick. Um, so I don't know. Uh, he keeps Ares around, though, I guess. And apparently Ares has some kind of dark secret. So that's probably why she's still there. You know, she's not just there out of like familial love. You know, she's, she's there because he's probably blackmailing her. And she's probably a accomplice, if I had to guess. Um, maybe something to do with the parents, maybe? We never got, it never got revealed, you know, what the parents were, you know, how they were with their kids necessarily. Uh, so, uh, you know, it's really up to speculation. You know, maybe they were abusive. Maybe they weren't. I'm not sure. Uh, Ian has something, some kind of, you know, obsession with killing, you know, innocent people though, in particular for some reason. <laughs> like he's just evil. You know, he just kills the people who are like, he, basically he just kills people who are easy targets, you know? So, I mean, he really is like an actual serial killer, you know, that's, I mean, real life, to be honest, that's usually who serial killers target, you know, those who are like, uh, you know, easy targets, you know, but anyway, um, but yeah, so, you know, I'm curious about their backstory, but it's never revealed much, however, but overall, I think it's pretty, pretty good, you know, I like how, um, you know, most of the story is definitely based on a lot of tension, you know, between you trying to like run away from the kidnapper and everything, trying to figure out how to leave you know you do some puzzles here and there and everything and, and and small little choices that you make actually affect the outcome of the story it's pretty cool uh the art is nice as well i do like the art um overall um mm, what else uh the 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 music i don't know if it's just generic like royalty free music or not but <laughs> i like the music i don't know it's like i don't know it's just chip tune sometimes which i like i don't know I'm not sure if it's exclusive to the game or not, but I like it. Um, uh, but yeah, and the writing as well. I'm just thinking about the writing. As far as I remember, it doesn't seem to be much like typos or anything. I didn't notice it, at least, you know, the, the first few times I went through it um, to get the different endings. So like, uh, yeah, I don't know. Pretty good on a technical aspect as well. And again, I do like how like it's definitely like a classic RPG maker horror game. You're, you're stuck in like a house, you know, you're stuck in like a, a place. And there's a freaking dude trying to murder you, basically. You're trying to, you know, hide and stuff like that. The only thing that, uh, I mean, it only affects me, really. But the only thing that I could maybe complain about a little bit is definitely the, the hide-and-seek mechanic. Uh, the timer is a little unforgiving because, you know, when you're looking at the puzzle clues, the timer is still going. So, like, you know, I'm trying to read the clues, you know, and everything. If I read it in my head, I'll probably go faster. But I like to, you know, read everything aloud and read dialogue and all that. So, um... So yeah, it's a little bit unforgiving because I'm, I'm reading something and oh, oh, wait, oh wait, I have to hide. It's like, you know, you have to go off and hide. So that's the only thing maybe. Um, that's a little like, uh, I don't know, uh, punishing, I guess. But, uh, you know, it's not too bad really. The puzzles were fine too. I mean, you know, I, I'm horrible at puzzles. So if I can do the puzzles, then it must be balanced. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but yeah, the puzzles are not too bad either. Um, uh, what else? Um... Uh, there's one more thing I wanted to say. Oh yeah, the the thing about the uh, the menu key. Okay, yeah, that that's a thing that is uh, definitely like a like a technical complaint though. So it's more like uh like a bug really in my head. But like basically when I'm trying to open the menu, sometimes it doesn't work. So that's kind of weird for some reason. It's not very responsive, which I don't like. Um, you know, it's just like a thing that I guess the developer just needs to fix on a technical level, if if they can anyway, if possible. So I like that, and obviously the crashing. So that's kind of weird. Maybe it's like an RPG Maker thing, or the way they programmed it, but 
uh but yeah it even says in the beginning of the game you know if you try to open the menu during dialogue or whatever then it does crash the game and that is true you know it happened a few times so it happens like when there's dialogue it happens when uh, you're hiding as well so i was trying to look at an item when i was hiding and it crashed as well so that's also like you know a bug obviously um i guess you know they just left it in because they didn't have time to fix it you know i mean that's, that's the only thing really the only complaints i would have are like technical uh but overall i like it you know i i, I don't know I guess again, I, all, every time, but I always have a soft spot for like Yandere stories. You know? I mean, the villain themselves are obviously irredeemable and unsympathetic, but I don't know. I, I like the conflict that you know, comes between the, you know, the protagonist trying to like survive against a Yandere, you know, and the like the, and the situations that arise from it and everything. I don't know. I just, I just like it. I guess. Um, but yeah. Um. Yeah, I mean, basically overall, I think it's a solid game. It's a, you know, good, like, short experience that's actually kind of focused, you know, which I like um, on the actual, like, uh, plot, basically. And, yeah, it's just, it's just really good. I mean, it gets uh, definitely very dark as well, you know, especially some of the endings. Um, it gets <laughs> super dark, uh, which is, you know, again, I like to, so. <laughs> uh, but yeah. But there you go. I guess that's it for uh, classmates. You know, as it turns out, don't trust all your classmates. They might be a serial killer. I don't know. Um, so I guess uh, I do my usual sign off. So if you want to see more content, then don't forget to click that subscribe button. You can also check out other playthroughs on my channel if you want. I also played another game by the developer, actually, uh, Giselle. Actually. So you want to check that out. Uh, they can do so as well. And yeah, I, uh, if you didn't know, I also stream these games live. So uh, you can change your notification settings from personalized to all if you get notified when I go live. There you go. Thanks for watching. Until next time. See you then.